welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will discuss about the DB2 SQL functions, that is aggregate function. So first of all, we will discuss like what exactly the uh, aggregate function is. So aggregate function is mainly used to perform some calculation on a set of values and then it returns some output. So uh, for the demonstration of same, uh, I have created one pre-f or file and I have stored some data in it. So we will use that PF or file uh, to demonstrate the aggregate functions. Okay. So first of all, you have to uh, run the command str SQL to go to the SQL screen. So here we can execute all the SQL queries. So now I will show you my file data. So that is, uh, so I will run the query select star from student PF. Now, once you hit enter, it will show you the all data that is stored in that file. So here I have stored uh, five records for the student uh, data and which contains a student ID, student name, student marks and a student DOP. Now uh, for these data, we will use the aggregate function and then we'll fetch out some uh, calculation over it. So first, uh, first of all, we will uh, see the sum function. So sum function is mainly used to retrieve the sum of any particular field. So suppose the requirement is that we want to calculate the uh, total of this student uh, marks field. So for that, uh, for that, we can use the sum function. So now we will see how we can use the sum function. To, so to use the sum function, first of all, you have to write the query that is select star from student pf. Now take f4. Now go to the select fields and take f4 again. And from here, if you press f11, it will show you the text of all these all those fields. So you can select that particular field on which you to perform the calculation. So for now we will uh, perform the calculation on student marks. So just write one and then hit enter. Okay, now remove the asterisk. And here we can uh, write the function that is sum and then bracket. And then close this into, close this field into uh, bracket. And once you hit enter, it will give you the sum of the entire field so it here we can see that it returns one six double zero that is the sum of all the uh, marks that we have calculated now press enter again and once you uh, press f9 key so you can see that this is the query that we have created uh, for calculating the sum of student marks so we can directly uh, write this query as well. But if you don't uh, remember the field name, so in that case, you can uh, go uh, with the F4 help. Like you can take the F4 function key to select the field name. And if you have uh, good hands on, on the query, then you can directly uh, write the query that uh, we have written in this query. Okay. So now, uh, okay, so now uh, suppose if you want to display this data with any specific name So what we can do we can give the alias name to uh, these field or these data by writing as and then the name that you want to give this uh, field so that is total mass total marks Now hit enter so we can see that now it is uh, displaying the verbiage as total marks for the total number uh, we got from the sum functions so and also if you don't write as here then it will also it will automatically consider it as alias name and give the same result so that's how we can use the sum function sum aggregate function to uh, fetch the sum of any uh, particular field or uh, any particular data so that's uh, how we utilize the aggregate function. In the upcoming session, we will discuss few more aggregate functions. So thank you for watching Texture Myth.